thing you're going to need to do is have a Webflow account. So if you don't have a Webflow account, come on over to webflow.com, go ahead and click get started. It's free and create your account. Once you're in, you're going to go to this clonable. So this is linked below uh, in the, the notes as well, but this is a clonable by Jetboost and this is gonna be our starting point for our Product Hunt clone. This already has some amazing functionality built in and will save you a ton of time when you're building. So once you have this up, you're gonna go ahead and hit clone project and follow the steps until you have it on your own template. Now you can see I have everything cloned out and things look a bit different. So on the left here is what my site, the template that we're working at currently looks at, looks like. And here on the right, we have what we start with. So this clonable has amazing features in it and tons and tons of filters, but we don't need all of them for this project. And it'll actually slow down our functionality once we have the project up and running. So you want to be sure that you have the multi filters and search. Remember, initially, we talked about that this is the starting page for us. So let's just take a look at it again. Yep, confirm. This is absolutely the page we want. So from here, we need to do a little bit of maneuvering and make this our home page. Step in doing that is to remove it from this folder. We're gonna hit the gear icon and just go ahead and hit none. That will allow us to make it a home page. So uh, we'll first have to hit save. Just one of those unique things in Webflow that it doesn't allow us to do it all at once. So we can go ahead and do that and then make this our home page. And it'll ask you, do you wanna do that? And we're gonna say, yep, we do. So you notice right away now we're on our home page. Here's the old home and our new home page is the one that we want. From here, we just have a little bit of maintenance we need to take care of and clean up all of these pages. So what you're gonna wanna do is click the little gear icon and go ahead and hit delete. You'll need to do that for all of the pages under the folders. Be sure you keep this meta page. You absolutely need that page. So go ahead and work your way down and delete out all of these old pages. Once you have just home and meta, you'll be ready to go. All right, now comes styling. So we have our home page and our meta page, and we have a lot of collection lists, which we're going to cover next. For now, we're just gonna focus on the styling and get everything set up so that we can integrate all of JetBoost, work at our collection lists, and then add in our membership site. The first thing I did was remove out this nav bar that came with the template. So maybe you have a particular nav you like, you can always add in nav elements. So if you come to your elements panel and scroll down, there's the nav bar here. The same thing with the footer. So go ahead and give it a, a nav bar and a footer. In the nav bar, there are a few things you wanna be sure you have. So we want all products. All products is going to link to our homepage. This is gonna look a little bit different depending on if we're logged in or not, but we definitely want it to link to our homepage. And then we need a login button so our members can log in and a sign up button if they're not a member to give them access. Don't worry about setting links to log in or sign up. We're gonna do that when we add in our member stack. So once you have those three links and styled the way you would like them, you're ready to move on to the styling on the main page. All of your filtering is already set up here. We just need to link it together with Jetboost, which is what we're gonna take care of in a couple of minutes. First, we wanna be sure that our styling and everything looks kind of the way that we want it. Thankfully, a lot of this is already done for us. So it really just comes to this container over here. As you can see, I've swapped out the text and added in my own. You certainly can make it whatever you would want it and complete your styling on this page. Once you have this all styled the way that you would like it, we're gonna go ahead and make a copy of it. So take a few minutes, hit pause, finish up your styling on your homepage, and then we'll move on to making the member only homepage and work on this upvoting system. Mm -hmm. 